Hi, my name is Melanie Stiasny and I'm curator of fishes at the American Museum of Natural History in New York. And I'm here in Congo for a very particular reason. I study fish and the Congo River is the richest place for fishes in, in all of Africa. And I study a particular part of the river, it's the lower Congo, so for, it's from Paul Malabo down to the Atlantic Ocean. And I think you just saw some of the rapids behind me. Now, the, the lower Congo River is full of rapids like that, and that's generated the most extraordinary species diversity. So that's, that's what I'm studying, and that's what I really love and care about, is the fish. But it's the year of the gorilla, and uh, gorillas, of course, are such amazing animals. They're not fish, but nobody's perfect, but they're amazing animals. But you know, there is a tremendous link between the gorillas and, and my fish down here. In this part of Congo, there have never been gorillas, and there certainly never will be gorillas. Um, but the fish, in a very strange way, totally depend on the gorillas, because the fish depend on the forest. Rivers, you can think of rivers as like islands, only they're islands of water surrounded by land. They're very isolated in some ways. But whatever happens on land ultimately ends up in the river and then it ends up going out to sea. So there's this great chain of connection between the great forests of Central Africa where the gorillas live and the rivers of Africa and ultimately the coasts and the, and, and the inshore marine life of Africa. So if you cut the forests down, ultimately you're going to screw up the rivers, you're going to lose everything that's living in the forests, you're going to lose ultimately everything that's living or most of the things that's living in the rivers and then all the way down to the ocean where the inshore marine fishery is so, so important for feeding people, you're going to lose that too. So for me, the gorilla, apart from being just the most gorgeous, wonderful animal and our very close relative, um, it's if you like protecting the forest. If we can protect the river, oh sorry, if we can protect the gorilla, we can protect the forest. If we can protect the forest, we can protect the rivers. If we can protect the rivers, we can protect the fish. And if we protect all of that, we protect the people. So it's, it's all kind of wound in together. And I totally, as an ichthyologist, I totally support saving the gorillas for the fish, for the people, for everything. Fantastic, thank you. Um, I, I want to say it again? No, no, it was brilliant. But I, I wanted to ask you. Oh, sure. Um, I understand you've not only discovered new species of fish, not only ge new genera of fish, but a new family. What makes that particular group of fishes or, or fish yeah. s species um, different from so the So extraordinary. Well, the, the, this river here is just full of new species. And when I say new species, I mean they're new to science. Uh, the local people know them, but we didn't know them as scientists. Um, Above the category of species, obviously we have genera, we have families, we have a whole categories of, of ways we classify fish. Uh, and those can be a little bit arbitrary, you know, whether one person says this is a genus, another person says this is a family. Um, it has to do with how these animals are related evolutionarily. And we found some fish here which we just can't work out who they're related to. They seem to be so distinct.